I stopped doing stand-up in 1992. We have a very special guest. Get excited! Come on! Please welcome Judd Apatow. Thank you. Don't you have like a billion dollars when you're doing, doing specials? You have everything to lose. You're doing stand-up. They need more white men. I heard them say that. I said to my daughter, I don't know if I can do this. I'm getting really nervous. And she goes, then don't do it, Dad! Don't do it! <laughs> It's amazing I can draw a crowd, isn't it? If I'm walking down the street and somebody says, are you Judd Apatow? If I say no, they go, all right. <laughs> I watch that show Hoarders, and I root for the hoarders not to throw out their stuff. <laughs> I'm like, don't throw out that bird cage. You might get a bird. A lot of people smoke pot with their kids. This is what happens. You turn 18, and suddenly your parents are like, hey, we can be friends now. The truth is, I love cocaine. I'm not sure how long I want to live. I don't want to be sick. I don't want to be all messed up. If there's any doubt, pull the plug. If they say we're not sure, pull it. Just err on the side of too early. If they say I'm going to pull through, pull it. <laughs>